Hey guys, and happy fun Friday, woohoo! You have almost made it through the whole entire week. Go mama! So my name is Quincy, I am a homeschooling mom of three, ages three to 13, wife to Mr. Awesome, and I blog at a slightlybetterwife.com. Today, I'm gonna show you this cart that I got from Ikea and how I have this organized today to help study um, geography and history and some of those kind of things that I don't personally really love, so I really lean a lot on um, manipulatives and things like that, different resources to use to help us study. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, this basket is what we call our geography and history, kind of our social studies basket. I pulled this straight off of our bookshelf, so I can show you that too in another video um, or a clip on my website. So that is just filled with these books that I love. These were suggested by Erica at Confessions of a Homeschooler. And we did these when we did our um, Road Trip USA study through her website. So these kind of books are excellent. Our library carries several of these, but these are just the ones that we ended up buying because we needed them longer or because they didn't have them. Um, this is, I think, the first one that we did, and the kids really liked it. So it's the, they call them like the If You series, like If You Lived in Colonial Times. Um, we have just fun little, this is from Amazon, and all of these things can be purchased from Amazon. This little 50 States book, it's just like a little activity book, but this is like perfect to take in the car or if you just have a little downtime, sometimes the kids will just sit and fill something in on there. Um, books from Target, from the dollar spot, right before school starts. They have excellent resources there. Um, and then just some other books that we've picked up either Target or secondhand stores. So stuff about presidents, the states, that sort of, whoops, that sort of thing. I like to keep in there. Um, some of the Osborne books we really love. So I always pick up things like that when they have book parties because I love to get nonfiction books for the kids because they have plenty of fiction books. We can check out plenty of fiction books and nonfiction at the library. But I really just love to have those on hand and right where they can grab them to learn. This was also from Target. Um, these actually, they're, you can probably find them on Amazon, but these were sold to us by one of those door-to-door -door salesman people. Um, I think they're Southwestern, yeah, Southwestern Advantage books. These are great, but it's like major, whoops, let me actually get you a page, major information overload for my kiddos. So we just kind of take it just a little chunk at a time. And they were very expensive. So I, I don't actually highly recommend those. Highly recommend checking out your Target Dollar Spot and secondhand stores. Not that those don't have great information, but they have just such a wide range of information. And so for my kiddos, we really have to focus on one chunk of thing at a time. Um, the next thing is this United States puzzle. And I keep the pieces in a bag because I find that if I keep the pieces all on the puzzle, they're gonna get lost. So when they finish them up, they throw them into the baggie. I love this puzzle. Whoops, there goes a piece. Did you guys see that? Apparently Alaska was still stuck in there. Um, so you can see the pieces are nice, thick wood, and it has the capitals on the board, and then you fill in the states. So let me be a good example and put this one away, just in case my kiddos watch this. Um, so then that's something. Now this is something like, so this morning, we do these kind of things on Fun Friday. Um, my daughter is in middle school, she's older, and so she has history projects and she uses Institute for Excellence in Writing, which is like an amazing curriculum. Um, and then my son is in second grade, I had to think about that, <laughs> he's in second grade. And he does more of this kind of stuff um, for social studies and more of the books and just writing little bits. We don't go too deep with that. Um, this is the lid to a puzzle that they are doing right now actually while I'm recording this. Um, this one we picked up from our Baumgars, it's like a hardware type store, and they're huge pieces. So this is like a big massive puzzle on the floor, and the kids love to do this with their little sister. So with the toddler, they will put the puzzle together with her, and they think that they're totally helping her, but they are seriously learning a lot, because it's that hands-on, and they're crawling, sorry I'm giving you some glare from the light there. It's the hands-on, and they're just crawling around the floor, and really learning, and and they're trying to teach her. And as we know that when you teach, you really learn. So I love this puzzle. And I think this was like $9 maybe. Um, but it's definitely good quality. And it's Melissa and Doug. So it's made very well. Made to last. This was from Amazon. And this is the sequence game, which hopefully you guys have played sequence before. But this is states and capitals sequence. 
So I grew up playing the sequence game with my family, and now I've got the States and Capital one to play with my kiddos. Um, and if you don't know the concept, this is probably really messy in here, but basically there's a big board and the, they're all over with the States there. And then you draw cards that have the capital. So like here's Tallahassee, and then you have to find the state for that on the board, and then you put your color of chip on it. When you get so many in a row, then you have one. So we love that. And that's like fun for family game night, fun for just during school times with the kids, that sort of thing. And then I've shown this in another video um, that I did on how to learn social studies or history or something. I can't remember what I called it. Check my YouTube channel because I don't remember. Um, but how to learn social studies type stuff using coloring books. The Dover coloring books are excellent. So they have, just like they have a state, some stuff to color, and then just some fun facts at the bottom. Really simple, it's not information overload, it's easy to handle, very manageable for all ages. So I have not got one for my toddler yet because she doesn't color on just one page, but she'll get one too as she gets a little bit older. And then the Desk Atlas, we love this atlas. This one is excellent, great pictures, great information. And so, they, so they'll find in here like, They'll find Nebraska or whatever, and then they look in here to see the colors of the birds and read some facts about them. So that is just a fun way that we study some social studies on Fun Friday because I think Fridays should be for fun. And a lot of times we get too caught up in like our book work and being really rigid, and I find that my kids don't learn as well when we are so rigid. So I try, it's not my personality type, but I try to just relax a little and like, okay, let's have fun for Friday. And then we sit on the floor and we read all these books and that kind of stuff. Um, this cart does not stay loaded this way. This is just, I load it for whatever we're going to do this day. Um, some days this is loaded full of toys for the toddlers. Some days it's next to the couch and used as a little like coffee table or end table with remotes and coffee cups in it and that kind of thing. So this is from Ikea. It's $30. But if you don't have an Ikea near you, it's only like 10 bucks to have it shipped. It's pretty cheap. So... I think it's called the Raskog, if I remember right, R-A-S-K-O-G, maybe, or just search um, for cart, wheeled cart on Ikea, and you'll find it. So those are some of my tips, some things that you can try, some puzzles, some books, um, and if you are not ready to invest in books and stuff like that yet, definitely check out your local library. I know our library, we can request books from too, and they can find them. Check your Target dollar spot, that sort of thing. So, all right, guys, I hope you have an excellent Friday, an excellent weekend, and go out and do something awesome. Thanks for watching. Bye.